LinkedIn outreach doesn't work anymore. If you're one of those, then this video is for you, where I'm going to show you how to create LinkedIn outreach campaigns that actually achieves results like this. So I'm going to show you step by step on how to create a LinkedIn outreach campaign with an approach that actually works. So if you want to know how to book more meetings through LinkedIn, then make sure to watch this video till the end. I'm Magdalena, one of the co-founders of Replic, and let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the basics. I receive a lot of messages on LinkedIn that looks like this. They're long, text-based and boring, and it's all about them and nothing about me. So the first rule we want to remember is that we are not selling our offer. We want to start a conversation with our prospects. Selling is what you do when you're on the sales call with the prospect, okay? So we want to do something that not everyone else are doing. We want to be relevant. We want to make it about the prospect, and we want to send something that they are not expecting of us. That's what I'm going to show you in this video. Okay, so the first step in building any outreach campaign is to find our target. So how do we do that? So one way to do that is to find an influencer in our space that talks about a topic that our potential prospects are interested in. So here's an example where Charlotte Johnson is talking about lead generation and booking more meetings, which is perfect for Replic. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to her profile and then we're going to find a post where she has a lot of engagements like this one, for example, where we have 2,645 people engaged on her post. And this is potential prospects to me. And I also know that they are active on LinkedIn since they are engaging on her post. So what we want to do here is that we're going to scrap those engagements and then reaching out to them. And we're not going to reach out to them the normal way with a long and boring text where we're pitching our service. No. So what we are going to do instead is that we're going to create personalized videos to each and every one of them. Like this video where you're just recording one video and then we're going to duplicate that one video and, and automatically adding the LinkedIn profile of the prospect in the background of your video. Okay. And then we're adding their first name and company name to make it really personalized. And what we're doing here is that we are actually sending something that they're not expecting from us because it's so few doing this approach. So your message will actually stand out from the crowded inbox. So the question is, how are we scrapping this post? So we go into this post and then we go into an outreach tool like Expandy. So this is Expandy, one of many LinkedIn outreach tools out there. Okay. So we really love Expandy because of its different features and the safety and the search options. Here, for instance, uh, the post engagement is one of the features, but you can use any LinkedIn outreach tool that you would want. But in this example, I'm just showing you what we are using. So what you can do here is that you're adding a new search and Expandy allows you to scrap uh, basic searches, sales navigator searches if you have premium, a recruiter search, you can import a CSV file if you get your prospect list from elsewhere. But in this specific case, we're going to use this one, post engagement. Charlotte as a name, and then Expandy is going to explain to us how we're going to scrap the engagement of this post. So find a post, click on the three dots on the right and then choose copy link to post. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to click on these three dots, copy link, and then we're going to paste it here. And then it's also asking us for the post idea, which are the numbers that you can find in the link right here. So we're just going to take this, enter post idea and then search. And this is going to take a couple of minutes. So you're just going to click search. And I already did this search. So you, as you can see, you have the engagement here, post engagement, Charlotte. And when you have this list here, what we want to do is that we want to export this file. So we're going to export it and mail all filtered contact as CSV. And then when you have the file, it's going to look like this. And here is an example file of Expandy. And here's all the data that Expandy is going to give you, like first name, last name, profile link, job title, company name, everything we would need. It also scraps the email. So if you want to do a follow up by emails, you can also do that. So you're touching the prospects on LinkedIn at first and then you're following up on emails. But this is how our file looks like. And what we want to do is that we're going to download this file as a CSV file. 
and then we're going to make videos to each of our prospects okay so what we want to do here is that you're going to replic and replic allows you to add personalized elements to your cold outreach campaigns and do it at scales like videos or images or uh, personalized lines okay so in this example we're just going to choose this option where we're going to choose LinkedIn as our background and then we are going to upload a video file of ourselves saying that we found them on Charlotte's post here you can talk about the topic that Charlotte is talking about in her specific post or something that you know this prospect would be interested in and you sharing tips and remember the first rule that you don't want to sell your offer what you're selling is starting a conversation so this is what you want to do in your video okay so here we're just going to click no and continue so I have this uh, video here and what we want to do is that we want to replace the background and adapt it to each of our leads. So we're going to import this Charlotte file and add it inside of Replic. So here, we're just going to drop our file. We're going to click next. And then you're just going to map the fields that Replic needs. So we would need the profile link, first name, and last name or company name. So you're just going to map the fields and then next. And then you have all of your list here. I'm just going to shorten this list to make a example a bit quicker. So just going to click submit here and the next step is to add your LinkedIn cookie. And how do you find your LinkedIn cookie? You're going to right click on this page and then click inspect. And here you have application. So we're going to choose that. And under the LinkedIn cookie, we're going to find something that's called LinkedIn at. So we're going to take that cookie and put it inside of Replic. And then we're just going to submit that LinkedIn cookie. And in the last step, you are able to customize your video page. So you can upload your own logo if you want that. You choose your own call to action button and the link that you want to link the prospect to. And then you can change the colors to your own branding colors if you will want that and add the calendar on the video page to make it easier for the prospect to book a meeting with you if they would want that. And then you also have different kind of video options like this one big bubble where it's going to pop in the middle or if you want it to be full screen but I'm just going to choose the big bubble here and then start the video creation and here we're just going to wait until we are redirected to the result page and this is going to take a few minutes to generate all of these videos and then we're just going to create a campaign in Expandi and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so when the videos are done, we find them under the result page here and just having a look to see how the videos look like. You can see that this is the video I uploaded and then you have all of the different backgrounds in the background of my video adapted to each of my leads. And when we have all of our videos, download this replic file right here. And this is the file that we're then going to upload inside of Expandi. So here is how the file of Replic looks like. And as you can see, this is just an example. You would obviously be able to have more prospects on one list. What Replic gives you is the result videos here. So this is the links that are adapted to each of our leads. And this is what we're going to add in Expandi in order to send personalized videos to each of our prospects. Okay. So what we want to do is that we want to go back to Expandi and here we're going to go to campaigns and adding a new campaign and a connector campaign and then create a blank campaign. So in our A-B tests, it's uh, most likely you're going to get a, uh, an acceptance to your connection request if you just leave the connection request empty. So we're just going to leave that empty and then we're just going to add a... F so when they accepted us in their network, we're going to just wait a day and then we are going to send them a message. 
And the message could be something like, since you engaged on Charlotte Johnson's post, I'm guessing you're a, you're a fan of great prospecting tips, first name. And then we're going to add the video right there. And then the call to action is going to be something that directs them to watch the video or something like wood joint. So remember, we want to start a conversation. So you're not going to ask for a call or jump on a meeting or anything like that. You're just going to add this video where you're going to talk about a prospecting tips or something about this post that Charlotte shared and then we're just going to save the messages and after I uploaded the list of replic we then going to be able to add the video as a dynamic placeholder and that link is going to be then changed to each of our leads so we're going to save the message and the people here so we're going to upload our replic file in here so when we uploaded the file, we're going to then be able to map the fields inside of Expandi. And here it's really important to choose the right column. So we want to choose this one, column F. So results videos, we put it as a dynamic placeholder. And we also put the last name like last name, first name as first name. And then we are going to put and then we need the profile link, of course, to be able to reach out to them. So when we have all of that, we're just going to send CSC for processing. That all of the people, we're just going to see them right here, okay? So what we want to do now is that we're going back to the steps here. And this is where we are going to add our video. So here we want to, to go down here and we want to put this here and dynamic placeholder select the placeholder and we're just going to add this result videos right there so we're going to have it there add a dynamic placeholder and then when you have it there you're going to save the message and going back to the people you can then preview your messages by clicking on this i here and since you're engaged on Charlotte Johnson's post, I'm guessing you're a fan of great prospecting tips. Chris, so this is his first name. And you see that this is the replic video. And the replic video is going to be adapted to each of our leads. So in this case, Eric here should receive a video with his LinkedIn profile in the background. So let's check. And that's how it looks like. And if we would send this in LinkedIn, this is how it's gonna look. And Eric is going to receive a video like this. So going back to Expandi, you would just launch this um, campaign, put in settings so, so that you don't send too many message or connection requests a day. And then you are going to be able to automatically reach out to all of these prospects with an approach where they're seeing themselves in the background of the video and we're turning our approach and making it about them and not about us and i really hope that you like this video and try this approach out and you will see an increase of reply rates on your linkedin outreach campaigns and if you have any questions jump on our chat and talk to us more there i'm happy to guide you if you get stuck somewhere see you soon